fight in the box, and who will think outside of the box? Off the bat, look at the amount of magic shops available for both these, uh, the mystery shops for all these early game heroes, man. Echo for sure wants to try and start snowballing, and in the early stage of the game, you can see that Vanity Cutie also is a purifier, so we're still respecting the potential for Blacklist to strike back with their own crowd control. I think Blacklist wants to go a little faster this time, and they're showing it via their battle spells and their movement. Look at this, Oh My Venus going ahead and uh, giving a little bit of uh, their peace of mind to Carl TZ, as well as the fact that they have four flickers. Four flickers! I do agree that they have to push the tempo a little bit. They gotta move a little bit faster. But now the question is, where do you really want to put pressure into the jungle? And if you do want to put pressure into the jungle, what are you willing to expand? Because right now, oh my Venus, he's really providing the vision. But I kind of want to, I, I kind of want Haji to get a level four of course. Haji level four will definitely be a significant power spike. But the concern is, with so many flickers on the side of Blacklist, they don't have a lot of purifies, and they are two absolutely solid engaged tools in the Black Dragon form with the Petrify Furious Dive, and of course with Yaoi, flicker while charged. So once level four rolls around, Echo has a chance to just completely shock Blacklist International. Yeah, but it looks like these uh, 4v4s, 5v5s aren't going to happen quite yet because at least before this first turn, we're about 15 seconds away. Gold Crab going over to Carl TZ here. Sanji spacing out Haji and Edward. Are we going to see a purple delay or are they just going to make a beeline for this turtle? I kind of wish that Blacklist does put that pressure there. I just kind of feel like they want Wise to be a little bit more comfortable, get that 15 stacks. Maybe off of this fight around the turtle, but in the mid, looks oh, like Wise. Oh, that is welcome. Answered by a Tempest of Blades. Wise put oh. down to about a fourth of his health. Flicker spent by Yaoi. He's holding on to a wild charge. It's going to be for naught. Wow, he went with a flicker, but he didn't really get anything with that, so it's a bit of a mistake. But Edward goes in 1v4 right now. Bravest Fighter answered by a real world manipulation. Newman on blast. No one home. Edward forced the flicker out. Echo with a clean take for that major objective. So many things happening at the same time, but still nothing significant just ha uh, taken by either team. I mean, like a lot of boxes were set up, but no one is really taking the bait. And with that being said, looking at the items right now, I'm already looking at Haji. It looks like he wants to be like a, a scaling kind of Valentina going for the elegant gem. But right now, Sanji, no mana. It looks like Yaoi yeah, will be able to protect him. You know, I was thinking that maybe Sanji was going to go for a bit of a glowing one early on, considering the amount of high HP members Blacklist have on their roster. But at the same time, with how often he's just casting spells left and right, I guess he really requires the Enchanted Talisman, lest he becomes useless in the middle of a very important team fight. But looking at the items, I kind of feel like with the Elegant Gem, it might be a situation where he wants to go for a clock of Destiny Lightning Truncheon combo, and if he does that, sure, he doesn't have a lot of cooldown to really like spam that Terrify, but because if he does take the ult from Sanji, then his real world manipulation will hurt because that is burst damage going all over around. And uh, hope damage right now. Sanford getting approached oh, by two. Oh, that's a deadness welcome. Answered by a bravest fighter forcing out a black Ooh. dragon form. Out of bounds. Sanford goes to save himself. And he will get away with it and save himself a death. In a way, this is what makes Yuzong so much better than a glue, right? It's almost a guaranteed escape unless you get bursted down. So if you want to be oppressive, if you want to have to pull multiple members towards your lane, this Yuzong pick is just so flexible and later in the team fights, it can be the deterrent they require to ensure that the carry cannot free hit with those very dangerous basic attacks. I like whoever designed these kind of heroes like the Yuzong, like the Farsa. Their idea is you can't die in the land of dawn if you're not in the land of dawn. That's but just, speaking of which... That's just logic. Here we go. Real world manipulation. The stolen one from Haji. Ooh. He is you. I am you. Oh, that's Carl Deasy caught out by the Numenon. Blast by Oh My Venus. Helping Wise secure not only First Blood, but also the turtle. Clear win for Blacklist. Yeah, there's a preemptive flicker from Oh My Venus that just catches Carl TZ. What a play. And Blacklist now has some momentum. A 1.2k gold lead. And Echo are the ones now considering how can they play against this because the crowd control is lethal from Blacklist. It's far from the LaFell threshold. 2k ahead. Mm -hmm. But can we even call Echo a scaling lineup? Okay, hold on. Looking at the draft, 
Kinda, but not really, because they really start getting online by two items, so you're not really looking at the 2,000 treasure. You're just like, okay, you got two items, you guys feeling comfortable, let's go for it. Because we got to look back, like, what happened just now, where Oh My Venus has 2050 vision. And I'm talking about the year, not the eyesight. He saw, moving forward, this is where Carl TZ is going to be, so that's where I'm going to flicker. So with that kind of movement, Blacklist now 1.4. K ahead, but Conceal Play, will they actually go for it? They set up the box, Real World Revelation answered with a wild charge. Oh my Venus in trouble, answers back, threatens the Numenor Blast, but falls regardless. And here comes Carl Teasy taking down Oheb, two for one. Benny Cutie suffers the trade, but Carl Teasy will go ahead and whack away at this turret. Oheb going in all in to try and just go for a trade there. It was a valid attempt, but unfortunately not quite enough. And now Echo are able to reduce the goal lead down to 1,000. And with Carl Teasy just being so active around the map, he's a constant threat in the back of Black International. Oh, Haji with the IMU Real World Manipulation taking down the Oats owner. And now Wise gonna be very low here. Popped down by Carl Teasy. Black Dragon 4 by Sanford splitting up the Ube. Now it's on my Venus turn. Wild charge onto the Guardian's Barrier. Sanford still in the half. Black Dragon. Dragon form, pushed away by Edward, flicker in by Oheb, securing the kill for Blacklist. That is how scary Oheb is, but now Benny Cutie tries to fight. Zalman Force helping him oh. dash on through, but Oheb gets more than a few pinwheels on him. Sanji goes for the trade, it's one for one in mid. It's a back and forth slugfest, and Edward is still sticking around with no HP, what is going on? Oh, oh, oh. oh my Venus. Void Crystal oh! at the most Woo. unfortunate moment. But ladies oh. and gentlemen, we need to make sure our athletes get the best experience. Okay. Wow, Calm man. Calm down. <laughs> we need to come. Uh, looks like OY Venus was taken down. There you go. See, I was wondering, like, it, was it worth it for the shot callers to force this out? Now, Carl TZ a little too late to the party. Gonna go on this wall with Sanford, his only support. Whoa. Tempest of Blades up, plus a retribution. But it's not enough. It's Wise who secures it. That is unfortunate. And I feel like Echo is just trying so hard to just make so many things happen. And Wise oh. just takes the purple just under the nose of Carl TZ. Second time. Dua. Second time that he's the purple. Do a Kali. And now, look at this. They're freezing it up. They're already starting it. It's like, okay, that's what you want. Whoa. And now they want Sanford. And they got it. It's a lot of damage. And despite how tanky Sanford is on the dude's song, this carry damage is insane. I thought he was still in the Black Dragon form earlier, but I guess it wasn't. The Luminum Blast just ends his fate there. So now Echo, despite having a snowballing lineup, they are the ones falling back behind, getting closer and closer to that Lafelle threshold. <laughs> Two things here. The Black Dragon form only really provides you so much extra HP, right? And second, the Orcas are getting the treatment that the King of Kings suffered in the hands of Blacklist just a few nights ago, right? They were doing the same thing. Like, I will only take the big buff and leave the little one so that if it does respawn, you, doesn't, you don't see it. Sometimes mercy is not good, man. Showing mercy to the little one is like, I'm not gonna sacrifice you. You didn't ask for this. Regard regardless of the size of your opponent, you give your all. Exactly. Now, Wise getting trapped here. Oh, Zaman Force set down by Benny Cutie. Cardi's oh. waiting at the wings. There's a knock up on the three members. Sanford, though, takes way too many pinwheels from Oheb. And he goes down. Yaoi next in trouble. And Haji with the RWM of his own. Out swiping, out tapping Sanji. That's two free kills going over to Blacks International. They're gonna convert into this tier two in mid, and Wise gonna continue stealing away, choking Carthese of his purple buff. Blackness already at a 4k gold lead. And look at Wise, man. Echo initiated that fight by using everything onto Wise, and he wasn't even taken below half HP. He's just so ahead right now, and Carl TZ trying to buy some time, trying to make a play happen here, but oh, it's looking bleak for him. Oh, no. run, Carl, run! That's three members forced out with oh. the blade, plus the tail end of the bravest fighter stunning him. He's down to an eighth of his health, just using all the energy he can. Oh, up by Oheb, and he cancels the recall. He's here, right in the middle of both mid and top lane inhibitors. The Filipino sniper has his man. Getting closer and closer to the 100 kill. Right now, Blacklist with almost 4,000 gold lead. Edward pushing Yaoi away. And now Blacklist looks like they're getting this Lord for free. 
Echo might have to slow this down, even though they're, they're supposed to be the aggressors. They need items right here. Because with a few select items, Sanford can still be a huge menace, can one-shot Oheb, unless, of course, Oheb has some precautions against that. So I think they have to try and get some small power spikes before they can even use their tools effectively to try and shut down the offense coming in for Blacklist. Now let's talk about Oheb again. It's now ranked number one. Numero uno, Nobo Satu in total kills in M-Series with 233 kills, just surpassing you guys of 232. Right now, Black Dragon Form looking like just trying to push them away. Is he gonna engage? Not yet. Successful defense by Echo. They're still waiting on a wave from up top. It looks like there's still some left in the tank of Blacklist. Numino Blast charged up by the Queen. Ooh. Calling it off. No, nope, oh. never mind. Wild Charge coming in. Yaoi, the aggressor. Tempest of Blades knocking up one. Down goes Oheb. Down goes Benny Cutie. Yaoi pays the price. Carl DZ getting on out of here. Two for one so far. Make that a three for one. That's Aichi taking down Carl DZ. And the mid lane inhibitor is going to fall. A Blacklist pushing the advantage. Four members available right here, and three members still responding from Echo. Sanji is trying his best to try and delay this, but look at the damage coming in. Oh, the terrified keeping this even play. Sanji needs to heal up, and Sanford backing up. Here oh. comes Yaoi. Sanji takes down Edward. Agent Zero is down for now. Echo pushes out Blacklist. They live to see another day. Wild Charge was RWM making sure that no further damage is done to their base. Echo right now is really holding on, looking at the items. I'm looking at the heart, already having three. The Holy Crystal, the Calamity Reaper, it should be enough, but Wise, he's barely taking any damage from Echo. Uh oh, Zaman Force plus Black Dragon form. No oh. for the Numenon Blast. Oh, I'm in trouble, Carl DZ gets him. Wise, the next one on the docket. Carl DZ falls, Wise as well. It's a two for one so far, and Echo wins disengagement. Despite everything, Echo actually comes out on top there. They're able to just deny or have any chance of participating in the fight. But right now, the real question, the real problem is Haji on the Valentina, man. He is doing a lot of damage because as Lafell mentioned, he went for the Clock of Destiny Lightning Truncheon and he has a Divine Glaive at this point. So Echo, they can't rest easy just because they take out Ohead and look at that, engage them. Oh, the battle for the purple buff. Will Oh might be the skull for this? The answer is yes. Benny Cutie gets one. Oh, but he falls himself. Haji, the KDA machine is way too farmed up. He steals the wild charge, pushing back the remaining members of Echo. I was a Romeo, but I'm going for this mage role, this mid lane role, just because of how you can really change how you glaive the hero just by adjusting the items. Because Haji going for a more bursty kind of build, even if you're like. Kind of tanky, you're kind of like not really all that tanky going up against Haji building this like very aggressive, heavy damage kind of build on this Valentina. The combination of the two different damages from Blacklist is something that Echo needs to try and deal with. Of course, with the more items being built, they can have the option of just stacking physical defense and then bursting down Haji, or vice versa, stacking up some magical defense and bursting down Oheb instead. So options are definitely still available, and with the goal being down to 2k, Echo can still definitely make a game-winning play. Look at this Orca pod rotation. That's five members north of the Lord. Wise and Edward have eyes on them, but I'm not sure if they know how many members exactly. Concealed play popped in. Can they find them? Haji as well. Steals a real remuneration. Numenon Blast as well. No one home answers back. Oh! With a wild charge plus Black Dragon for the full combo. Suffered by all heavies. The first casualty here. Benny Cutie as well. Haji is godlike. Someone stop the KDA machine. He gets two kills. Sanji falls. Now Sanford, the only one left. Can Edward finish him? Sanford backing out. Oh, my Venus looking for that stun. It's three members of Echo left. And Blacklist International, relentless. They want to take down Sanford. He's going to survive. There's a wave here. Can these three members of Blacklist finish the job? The answer still in the air. There's one big siege minion here. Newman and Blast oh. set up by Oh, my Venus. Wild charge by Haji. It's stolen. No more minions here. Yaoi very low. Can they finish him? Here's another wave up top. Carl Dizzy doing his best. Tempest up, blaze on. Blast International retreat. Whew. What an intense, intense defense from Echo. Oh, wait. Is it a defense? Sanford going in here, Leo. I'm not done, says Sanford. Oh, but maybe I am. He's very low now. Stunned up by Oh, my Venus. Pop with a concussive blast. Oh, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Now he's thinking twice. Uh, I mean, like, 
here's the thing. We keep talking about there's a line between bravery and stupidity. I'm not saying it's stupid. It's just like, depends on the result. You can call it whatever you want. But speaking of which, Betty Cutie just picked up a very crucial item to make sure that he can survive in the fight. Speaking of which, Lord, very low. Oh. Edward with the bravest fighter. Compromising Saki, forcing out a real manipulation. Edward does get him down. Yeah, he gets his Rico canceled by All My Venus with a blind Numinum Blast. In comes Carl Deasy, knocking him up. Oh, MVP is the Lord. Down goes Carl Deasy. This is MVP on MVP violence. Now Yaoi pushed out, and look, a split pushed out bottom by Benny Cutie. Not tonight, Benny, not tonight. Not possible, and unfortunately, Benny gets taken out, and so does Sanford. It's only Yaoi alone against the full roster of Black International. This might be the end, Leo. Oh, the writing's on the wall, two on one. Yaoi can't do much here. He's going to bite it as well. Black International takes us to game five. Absorbing the cheers from the agents, absorbing their energy. I mean, come on. Is there any other way this best of five could have gone?